Welcome to another episode of Global Banking Finance Today. My name is Deepika Lobo. Today we're going to talk about seven money habits that leave you broke. We are giving away one year free subscription of Global Banking and Finance TV magazine to be delivered at your doorstep to one lucky winner. Stay with me for more information. When it comes to finances, it's your habits that determine your fall or rise. Good ones can sustain you even in tough times, and bad ones will leave you broke without you noticing it. So go through this checklist and see if you have any of these bad habits. Impulsive shopping. Impulsive shopping at times creates huge holes in your wallet. This may appear to be a temporary trouble, but know that it is detrimental to your financial health in the long run. It prevents you from fulfilling your long-term financial goals. The effective way to get out of the trouble is to know the reason. Some impulse shop to stay with the trend. Others do it to take advantage of sales offers. They buy the things they donate, hoping to use them in future. Prepare a budget and have a financial goal. Pledge to yourself that you will stay committed to them. This way, you will minimize and eliminate impulsive buying. Excessive spending on housing. Maintaining your home is not of the most expensive responsibility you should perform. Mortgage loans, utility bills, maintenance, insurance, the list is endless. This fact alone makes it a must to keep it as low possible to maintain your financial health. Find ways to lower your housing expenses, aim for less than 30% of your monthly earning. Explore any number of success stories, you will learn one thing. The wealthy always keep their housing expenses at the lowest end, allowing others to detect your lifestyle. People learn certain spending habits from friends, families, teachers, and well-wishers. They can have both negative and positive influence on your financial health. Check the lifestyles of your immediate social circle. Stay safe from those who spend beyond their means. Comparing yourself to the social circle. Comparison shopping is the best asset one can have, but comparing yourself with your social circle will lead you to financial ailments. Accept yourself as you are. Know your means and stop coveting the new car your friend recently bought. Instead, delve on the great things you have. Reward yourself for your own achievements. When doing so, you should find ways that don't drain your budget. Be kind to yourself. Cutting your expenses definitely helps a lot. But the better alternative is to invest in yourself. Experiment with stock market. Attend paid courses available to advance the skills you already have. Doing both will take your finances to the next level. Remaining unconcerned about your debts. Do you know how much you owe your lender, friends, or relatives? Are you taking measures to repay it at the earliest? It is true that paying debts require great sacrifices on your part, but the effort is worth taking. Living debt-free is a true gift that you owe to yourself. Being dependent on your credit card. Plastic money does help a lot. It comes handy when you need emergency cash but millions make it a means of buying expensive items. Remember, credit cards increase your debts and you will have to pay a higher interest rate. Live within your means, your wallet will thank you forever. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and one lucky winner will win a one year free subscription of Global Banking and Finance TV Magazine.